So the words come out that Elon Musk has actually got an antidote for blindness, and this has caused quite a rift in the tech world. Yet leading tech companies are divided after this announcement, and people are still in disbelief. But if you don't know already, Elon Musk has been known to make such claims, and he has proven them right for the most part. So what's the story behind this latest Neuralink chip? Stay with us to find it all out. So first of all, if you think that this was an out of the blue announcement, you might be mistaken. Let me walk you through the instance that made Elon Musk make an announcement even before they had a proper prototype of their most anticipated chip yet. So on the 7th of November, a man posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, that his eldest son Alex, who was only 14, had a very rare eye condition that caused complete blindness in one eye and partial blindness in the other. The man revealed that this was really hard for him to talk about, considering how his son is really young, and he now feels like he needs public help to get his son's life back on track. The post instantly went viral, and I'm so glad that a lot of people tried to help the man. But the most prominent comment of the tweet was of course the man who owns the website, Elon Musk, and no one really believed what he was about to announce. People are still considering it some kind of sick joke, but Elon actually announced a chip that could cure blindness. He said, this is not much consolation, but Neuralink is working on a vision chip which will be ready in a few years. This is the next area after enabling phone computer telepathy for those who have lost their mind-body connection. We are waiting for regulatory approval for our first human. Now, to be frank, this tweet by Elon left me puzzled too because I wasn't sure something like this was even remotely possible. But he sounds pretty confident in his tweet and probably has a complete concept for the chip. Although the most interesting thing about this Neuralink chip is its functionality, which will be a game changer for Elon Musk's future in tech, for better or worse. Neuralink has been known for making brain chips and the company has been under fire for making chips to control humans. However, they're now making a chip to restore vision of partially blind people. The human trials are set to begin and it's definitely raising a lot of eyebrows. As Neuralink is getting closer to human trials, it's also giving birth to a myriad of speculations and uneasiness. Netizens are worried that if a chip is not functional or gets defected for some reason, and then if it's inserted in a human brain, what would happen then? And I don't think Elon had answers for this earlier because he was probably looking at the best case scenario only. But when netizens constantly talked about it and showed their concerns about these chips malfunctioning inside the brain, Musk had to speak up, and he revealed, we want to be extremely careful and certain that it will work well before putting a device into a human. Reassuring, I suppose. But there's still a massive question mark on what would happen if these chips stopped working or if an error was found with them. The chips will be inserted in the brain and the spinal cord, and if something goes wrong, you can lose your muscle movement for life or even die within a second. So Musk really is playing with fire at this point, but he seems confident about his technology, which I suppose we could read as a green flag? But I recently found out that the FDA has also given approval to Neuralink, so now they can start their human trials at any moment. Yeah, we really are living in a, a sci-fi film in this time. The news has given nightmare to a lot of people, and some have even opened up and voiced their concerns about this technology. In fact, right after this approval, a statement from UNESCO's representative made this technology a lot more controversial than it ever was by releasing this statement. Neurotechnology could help solve many health issues, but it could also access and manipulate people's brains and produce information about our identities and our emotions. It could threaten our rights to human dignity, freedom of thought and privacy. There is an urgent need to establish a common ethical framework at the international level, as UNESCO has done for artificial intelligence. This means that if Elon Musk inserts this chip in a thousand people, he'll have complete control over all of them. And he could also change the way they behave or even think. To be fair, I think it looks like Musk is planning on building his own army, whom he could just control with a few buttons. And add this into a few of his other sort of wild sci-fi themed investments. It looks like he's collecting the different origin stories of supervillains, like Thanos collecting Infinity Stones. But let's just step aside from the jokes for a moment. And please let it be a joke. Because there's also a long-standing debate about whether the chip will actually do what Musk claims, or is it just another way for the higher-ups to keep an eye on the masses? It all boils down to how the chip will be made and how it will function, so you need to understand the basics of the chip before getting into the nitty-gritty. See, the main function of the Neuralink chip will be to restore communication between the spinal cord and the brain. So a chip will be inserted inside your brain and another one placed right below your spinal cord. 
This will give rise to a new network of communication in your body that will not only help with blindness, but also paralysis. Once the chip is implanted in the brain, a robot will insert 64 teensy wires into the visual cortex. And once this process is complete, Neuralink can actually generate images into the brain and people can see them with their eyes. However, would this mean that people would only see what Neuralink and Elon Musk would want them to see? I was actually wondering the same until I understood how this chip and wire formula actually works. You see, for the image to form into your brain, you'll have to carry a digital camera. The camera will transmit a live feed, which will then be transmitted into your phone. And then via the phone, the feed is converted into data, which is then sent to the chip in your brain. The Neuralink data basically starts transmitting the feed, helping you see what is transmitted through the digital camera. It, it seems like a lengthy process because you would have to carry a digital camera and a phone everywhere you go so you could see, and you'd have to make sure the connection between all these devices stays crystal clear. But on the plus side, it will be a huge leap forward for people who were never able to see since birth and for those who have lost their vision because of some disease. Now, people still have a lot of concerns about this, especially after the recent cases of robot operations gone wrong. A few days back, a robot actually burned a woman's small intestine during a surgery, and the woman tragically lost her life. So the thing with these robotic procedures is that you can't really hold anyone accountable. For years, people had this perception that robots in the medical field will create more accuracy and death by human error numbers will decline. However, even robots don't sound like a bulletproof option at this point. Despite all this, Musk is still pretty confident about his technology because he has run trials reportedly on dozens of animals. Again, dystopian sci-fi vibes. And last year, Musk experimented with a monkey who had a Neuralink chip in his brain and he played a game just by thinking. Now, this tells us that Neuralink is getting very close to where they want to get to, but the only thing that's a major hurdle in their way is the common public. People aren't as accepting of new technology. And even when I first heard of this, I wondered, what new sorcery is this? Besides, we can't really know for sure what the intentions of Elon Musk are behind this chip. Do you think he's only doing this for the goodness of his heart, or he's also gaining something by inserting these chips in people's brains? Some insiders are reporting that Musk is getting frustrated by the slow process of Neuralink, because Musk's competitor, Synchron, inserted its first device inside a human quite a while ago. So it's not like Musk doesn't have any competitors in the industry. And the delays or any mishaps with the technology could cost him his entire reputation. So do you think Neuralink is ready to make such massive claims and will Elon Musk actually be able to cure blindness or is he just shooting in the dark? Drop a comment and let us know your opinion. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel to stay updated about the latest technology. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.